And also, this is gonna be final lesson for today. Uh, I've been having a lot of students and I need a break, so I decided to create um, another lift for you. And this one is on, it's still on G major, like the previous lesson. And this one we're gonna focus on ordinary picking and string skipping, okay? So um, the lick is gonna be like this. I'm gonna teach you first, then I'm gonna play um, all together, so then at the speed, so. So D, E, F sharp, then back again, so. Then on the third string, I'm gonna play 14, 12, 11. So. Then we're gonna play ten, um, nine, so E, F sharp, and G again, so. In this case, we're gonna be doing string skipping up the scale, string skipping, uh, every time we're doing a string skip, we're going back the scale, okay, so. Okay, so A, B, C. And as you can see, every time that we're going back to the scale, the last note from where we ascend the scale is going to be the, let's say, last note that we're uh, string skipping. Okay, so as you can see, we're hitting F sharp, F sharp. So this is the first part. Okay, so we should take this on pattern. We're gonna, you're gonna have this, sorry, half really cold hand, hand because I've been playing just chords and had any time to warm up. This is the first one, this is the second one. Okay, so, so as soon as you ascend, play this is like when you're playing this, so. This note is going to be the last note of that uh, the next pattern, so... Okay, now we're going to play B, C, D. We're going to go into G, okay? So C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Okay, so this is the first one. The second one, we're going to start from G. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. So. Now we're going to start from D. E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. We're, as soon as we reach E, uh, we reach E, then we play again, do a bending, and release. Play right, okay, so this last part is going to be like this. can do. I'm using these two fingers. So, sometimes. Uh, strings ringing so I use that okay don't forget the pattern the first if you check the patterns okay so the pattern But 
combine those two things together, it's going to be like this all together. <laughs> So medium speed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, bad part. Okay, now let's try up to speed. Like I said before on my previous lesson today, you have to do it a lot of times to have muscle memory and you have to warm up and I did warm up my limbs but my fingers <laughs> yeah they're frozen so <laughs> yeah you can see my hand is really red because it's cold <laughs> so I'm gonna try to play this up speed <laughs> I hope to see you try do at least one bit of this because most guys feel that, that they're in a rut. They don't have any new ideas and uh, I can't believe that's possible, man. Uh, the only thing limiting yourself is you. Um, if you don't know something, study about it, okay? Uh, most, most of my students sometimes, uh, they feel they are in a rut when they're trying to compose a solo, when they're trying to make a lick. They don't know what they're doing and they just went, gonna grab uh, some of ideas that they have about, um, for example, when they see Slash playing, John Petrucci playing, Steve Vai, they try to grab their ideas. And that's cool. That's great for um, adding to your lick repertoire. But the thing is, you have to be creative. You won't be following others. If you want to go following others, yeah, join the list. Uh, as soon as Mom Sin arrived at the scene, there was a lot of copycats. And uh, although there's not as much copy co copycats, sorry, uh, today as they were before, there's still a lot of people doing that. Um, Gucci, Gucci Govan happened a lot of plays trying to play their this stuff. Uh, I enjoy playing stuff uh, from others like um, Michael and Giubatti, uh, Angel Vivaldi, and Andy James. Um, a lot of other amazing players out there. Uh, Richie Kutze. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I remember but uh, just a few of um, his things because it has a lot of effects and, and I don't like it that much. Uh, but technically, yeah, um, it has great sound. Like Rusty Kube, he's a really fast machine, um, but his, his music is not uh, for my taste. So, But there are a lot of people that enjoy him good. So... I was saying is, if you don't have any ideas, is because you have you don't uh, feel enough. Uh, how, how can I say? It? It's because you haven't studied enough the instrument that you're playing. Okay, if you want to learn a new language, and there's something that you want to say but you can't it's because you haven't studied enough or you do know how to say it right it's the same thing as music uh, music it's a language okay and it doesn't matter what kind of dialect you're doing phrasing or you're trying to use or what they're trying to say the words are there right and you just have to know how to express them so, wrap your guitar, try to create one lick, any kind of lick can be, uh, try try to just, you can, if you want to grab this lick and just go around it. Uh, 
great, uh, really. <laughs> Booze Lake or just grab a pentatonic and do something with it. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities that uh, are still um, wanting to be found. Uh, I know that most guys just, or they want a, a three string. Three string pentatonic. Yeah, it's being used, but there's a lot more for you to learn. Believe me. Uh, sometimes you can um, just grab a pentatonic and play ways that no one else uh, you haven't heard of. Although someone has already played what you want to play, if you haven't heard it before and you make it, it's your own, right? So just do it, grab it, tag me, okay? See you guys.